selected as a White House Champion of Change for the Precision Medicine Initiative. President Obama, um, as you may have heard in January, uh, had a state of the state address on precision medicine. So uh, we'll have a million people in a cohort that will follow longitudinally over time to see how uh, all of the things, biological, environmental, and the stressors affect people's genes and how personalized medicine, which is medicine designed f with your personal genes as part of the equation, can help people. So my personal research answers the question, will personalized medicine or will genomic medicine increase or decrease health disparities? And that will depend on who's in the original trials. So as we, as we roll out this million person initiative, we have to be absolutely sure that it's representing everyone from a genetic standpoint or will advance science for some people but not for everyone. And when we do that, we don't, um, we create greater health disparities than there are. And I have to say at this point that um, people should know that it does not go by race. It's not a race-based uh, this is not a race-based science. We're talking about people who are genetically underrepresented and it really tracks back to ancestry. So we don't you we want to move away from using race as a proxy for genetics. We don't believe that that is valuable or even scientifically sound, but we do want to look at people's ancestry and how that varies genetically.